my first question though, Bill, did you know the technique of so softening kale with <laughs> olive oil prior to this? No, I'm, I'm looking forward to taking advantage of that. Okay, well done in your future kitchens. Now we had some pre-selected questions, some questions were sent in ahead of time. So can I have Arushi uh, with a question? Please go ahead. Good morning, everyone, and good morning to our very talented chefs. <laughs> Hope we get to try some foyo today. <laughs> You're going to get to try some, actually, Absolutely. for lunch. <laughs> That'll be fantastic. Yeah. I am Arushi, and I'm from an organization called Robin Hood Army, and we're working towards the goal of zero That's hunger. Great. So my question <laughs> is regarding the role of women in the agriculture sector. So we heard earlier today that about half of the women are farmers, actually, and we didn't know that. It was a lesser known fact, we know that now. And we also know that there's great inequality that exists in the agriculture sector in terms of access to resources like land and seeds. So what are some of the things that you suggest we can do to ensure equitable distribution, to increase the productivity of women farmers, and also so that we're able to achieve our goal of zero hunger? Thank you so much. I'm going to ask Lindiwe to take that question. Before she answers, I just got to tell you that Fonio is cooked. It didn't even take five minutes. Woo! So. Fonio is ready. <laughs> Go ahead, Lindiwe. So, what can we do to make things better? I think earlier on, Melinda did speak about women are the farmers, women should be in extension because women are in the kitchen. I'd like to see us taking more women into the science. Let's train more doctors in agriculture, and food more men systems, in the <laughs> climate resilience, so that they are visible in leadership positions. So more researchers in the pipeline, doctoral level, postdoctoral level professors, then the world will listen. Great. Thank, Thank you. Can I just say, yeah. so Agnip is, wants to set up that pipeline so that, that we can have young women go all the way up to be uh, research scientists, uh, modelers, uh, and help to solve and create the innovations and, and solve these uh, challenges of climate change. Thank you. And we have the